I think we're started. Yeah, you're started. Yeah, we're started. We were talking about, you know, the mass electrification of, um, of society. And there's a lot of predictions out there about how fast that's going to happen. You know, I've, I've, I've read anywhere from 2035 to 2050. The economics of all these things are, are getting, you know, better and better. They're not, they're not following, you know, a Moore's Law like curve, but they're following a pretty steep curve and getting better. And we're also seeing um, a lot of the fossil fuel companies like Shell, Chevron investing in um, yeah, they, electric, they have to. electric stuff. Talking about all these charging stations have to be put in, you know, they have to be as, as ubiquitous as, as gas stations, really, I guess. But, um, you know, that's the type of stuff that's going to have a major influence on the grid, the distribution grid, oh, yeah, and the transmission good. grid. That's that's great for power engineers. That's, that's you bet it is. The more you know? they use, the better, more Absolutely. work you guys are going to have. It's going to be a very interesting next 10 years, I think, though. You know, because it's, it's going to be hard for some people. I, I think a, a big game changer. Uh, for a lot of people will be, uh, you know, especially like here or in the West, uh, is when the electric pickup comes on. Yeah. Well, it's kind of cool to have this uh, vehicle. I hope, we, I hope we learn something from it too, um, as far as just, you know, the usability of it. We put the solar panels on the building in Haley. Oh, okay. Quite a few years ago we did that. I don't know if we knew that. Yeah. And we actually brought it down and got it metered and everything and we we're going to make a big science experiment out of it. Uh, I'm interested in um, seeing what, what we can do with this. I think it is the future like you said. What better way than to get first-hand knowledge of how it works? Uh -huh.